So getting here a little further into October, it's been a super busy beginning of the week. We started off with an interview for a podcast with Marine Industries Association of South Florida with the hub, which is the research arm associated with Katie Fallon. So that was kind of cool talking about aquaculture in the state of Florida and specifically, obviously, marine ornamental aquaculture and, and the business that we've created here building these tremendous coral reef aquariums and jellyfish aquariums as well. So that was a really great start to the week. Tuesday, we went out and went downtown Miami. I took Miss Jolene with me down there. We went up to two different buildings that were building these really large jellyfish aquariums and one on the 60th floor. That project's going along super well. The aquariums are still covered up. They've got framing in place. They're working on the MEP, the plumbing, the drainage, the drainage in the floors, so the stud walls are up. And you can even see the great Miami signature bridge with the arches under construction from floor 60. It's really phenomenal. Looking, it's coming together really awesome. We went over those, designated a bit more about that with the job site foreman for floor 60, and that's progressing well. It just takes a lot of communication. Sometimes people don't really understand how involved it is to get it right the first time. It isn't you just show up and magically everything's there. So you gotta follow through with that. We're also working on another really significantly big custom reef aquarium that's in several segmented pieces that would be the longest reef aquarium we've ever built in a high rise. That also is in the 50s of the floors in downtown Miami in another kind of confidential location. But it is super exciting. That one involves a structural integrity to the slab itself and how we approach that weight load of somewhere near 45,000 pounds, which is not a crazy load, but there's discussion about reinforcing the slab with carbon fiber materials that would be epoxy to the concrete. And then communication with the builder, the replacing the floor on that whole slab and they're gonna put a wood floor in there. So again, another really super cool project. That one will definitely be in the works probably well into 26, maybe even by summer of next year. Again, super exciting. You gotta wear hard hats, steel toe shoes, safety vests, safety glasses the whole time. We're in the big construction zone ones and we're moving along real well. There's those crazy dogs again. Hey, come on. Buddy and Geo have been working on the 700 gallon over on the ocean, 708 gallon. Buddy's been working into the remote filtration room downstairs. That's coming along super well. Big poly sump, chiller, water cooled chiller, sinks, water tanks, plumbing, very important part of getting it right. Again, with another brand new installation that will be up and running by the end of the month. I know Alex went ahead and cleaned up the sump that I did some work on last week. We got the bubble mesh in here, the area for the pump on the other side there, little floss area here. So there'll be a lot of flow through here with two of the Deltec E-Flow water pumps that'll fit in here. There's an overflow, emergency overflow that goes through a drain into the sump underneath, into a retention pan. That one's over on Marco Island. Uh, they'll start plumbing this up on Monday and Tuesday of this coming week. Alex also is cleaning this one up. We're gonna start putting some glass into here. You can see he's trimming the silicone. That's coming together really nice. There, of course, is the stand for it. Alex and Connor spent last week at Reliant Aquarium Design out in San Diego. They learned a heck of a lot. And that again is another one of those really great opportunities for us to work together with uh, members of the Aquarium A team nationwide. We're gonna have a 400 plus gallon going. Well, that's 700 gallon going. We have another 675 going by December and a thousand gallon going and up and running by January. So we need a lot of bigger corals too. Went off to our good friends at Top Shelf Aquatics up in Orlando and picked up some more really large corals. Here's a big acro underneath there. And then there's a whole bunch more. Some Monty Caps, a whole bunch more corals and big zoanthids. So we're coming together, bringing those in the systems and it's gonna really come come together super well. I 
As we move along this week, getting closer towards the end of the year, there's a lot of things to put together and having a, a hell of a time orchestrating so many projects at one time. It's really exciting. Remember to like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next installation.